Thank y'all for subscribing back to the channel. It's your boy, PBK9s. Give you that dog news we always do, fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, like I always say, and some ain't. Thank you for subscribing. If you already subscribed, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that little free button over there to the side. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to let them know the video is dropping. Don't forget to hit that like button before y'all get up out of here. You know, it's your boy, PBK9s, giving you that dog news. The way I always do. Let's get into it. So, I have a theory about dog names. This is a theory. I'm not saying this theory is 100%. Just letting you know it's a theory I have about dog names. We're going to check the theory right here in your city. We're going to just check the theory. I don't know for sure. So, here's my theory. It seems like my white friends, when I talk about my white friends, I'm including the white people in this room. <laughs> it seems like my white friends, most of the time, give their dogs human names. Black people, not so much. I could be wrong, I don't know, just find out. If you're a white person, you have a dog, raise your hand. If you're a white person with a dog, cool. I'd like to talk to this lady right here with a striped, she got a striped shirt on, blue jeans. Yeah, yeah, can you give her the microphone? Cool. Yeah, she got a mic for you so everybody can hear you. What, what is your name? Angela. Angela, cool. First of all, Angela, what kind of dog do you have? She is a Shibu and you. Shibu Indian, okay, we on the right track already. <laughs> we on the right track, we on the right track. Yeah, that is not a black dog. That's not a black dog. And what is your dog's name? Haley. Thanks for playing along. <laughs> Thanks for playing along. Thanks for playing along. Thanks for playing along. Right. Need another white person with a dog? I'm looking for another white person with a dog. Yes, you gotta go ahead, give her the mic. You can give her the microphone. Cool. Cool. And what is your name? Laurie. Laurie. And what kind of dog do you have? Well, I have a border terrier. Okay, cool. Where'd you, did you get him on the border? No. <laughs> Your laugh is amazing, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. That little <laughs> at the end. That's pretty awesome. Okay, and uh, what is your dog's name? Caleb. Thanks for playing along. <laughs> Need another white person with a dog. I'm looking for another white person with a dog. Another white person with a dog. There's a little girl with her hand up. Let me explain something to you. Um, first of all, you don't have a dog. Um, yeah. yeah, your parents have a dog. You have a furry roommate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me ask you a question. How much does dog food cost? Oh, you don't know, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why? Because you don't got a dog. Um, cool, cool, cool. I need a black person with a dog. I need a black person with a dog. First of all, notice how many hands are not going up. I'm gonna point that out real quick. Notice how many hands are not going up. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with that sister right there. I'm gonna go with that sister. Is that okay? Can I? Can y'all get her? Is it too? Right there. No, you gotta keep your hand up. Yeah, with the stripes right there. Cool, cool, cool. Pass the mic down to her. You can tell this is completely unrehearsed. I just wanna throw that out there. We, they would already have mics just jumped up. Hello. Cool, and what is your name? Uh, Jasmine. Jasmine, where'd you get your dog from? Um, a sister, she brought it home, and it looks like Wishbone. So she brought the dog, so you didn't pay no money for the dog, that's the point, right? <laughs> that's what I'm saying right there, okay, okay. All right, and uh, and what kind of dog is it? What kind of dog is it? Uh, it looks like Wishbone, so I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about right now. What is your dog's name? Coco. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm saying right there. That's a black dog. That is a black dog. She don't know where it came from. She don't know what kind of dog it is. She just named it Coco. All right, I'm gonna go with one more brother. I need a black person with a dog. One more, I want a brother with a dog. A black person with a dog. Yeah, a brother right there. Right, right, you could, yeah, right, boom. There he is. Keep your hand up, keep your hand up. Yeah, what's your name? It's Brandon. Brandon, cool, cool. Well, what kind of dog do you have, Brandon? I have a pit mix. Pit mix, that's what I'm talking about, a pit mutt. Okay, and what is your dog's name? Coco. Coco. <laughs> When was the last time you saw your dog? Yo, yo, it's your boy PBK9s. 
I'm out here at my boy KG. We getting that breeding done with his, with his old uh, female Avi. Old female Avi. I grabbed it and I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> She's crazy as hell. She crazy now. I grabbed it and wasn't even thinking. But yeah, we got this anime little mate sister right here. Anime little mate sister. So we got Marino and anime dropping. And the next week we got Avi and Marino dropping. Circle. Move. So if, if y'all looking for some of them good working line puppies, hit me up or hit my boy KG up on the Facebook. If you, if you, like I say, um, these high intense dogs, high drive dogs, they ain't regular, they ain't made to be just your regular house pets looking at TV. If you're looking for a good working dog that's ready to work, work the farm, work the, uh, the, the, the junkyard where the car is at, work anything. These the puppies you need. Oh yeah. PBK Five, guys, I'm four, out. Three, two, one. Starting that news off today, I want to say shout out to all the bulldoggers, like I always say, across the land. All right, shout out to my boy D Slim the OGs. D Slim the OG, if you ain't subscribed to his page yet, go ahead and subscribe to it. Like I always say, the brother be kicking some knowledge on his page. Home with a nanny dog, shout out to Home with a nanny dog. If you ain't subscribed to his page, go subscribe to it. He be doing a lot of good stuff with them pit bulls on his page. Shout out to our uh, Mason. Shout out to um, all the Bulldogs, man. Shout out to all the Bulldogs. Top to the bottom, left to the right, east to the west. Like I always say. And big shouts out to City Boy Kennels, man. City Boy Kennels. If you ain't subscribed to the brother page, go ahead and subscribe to it. We need them subscribers up. I need my subscribers up as well. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and hit them like buttons on the video before you get up out of here. You know, and uh... Like I say, um, shout out to City Boy Kennel. He running that Red Boy Jocko Buck stuff, you know. And uh, he got some of the best Red Boy Jocko Buck dog, you know, floating around. And if you're looking for a puppy, you know, if you like that JD Hall puppy I got, he got a repeat breeding coming, so holla at him if he, you know, trying to get one of them type puppies. All right, this episode of the Dog News, we gonna keep it rolling, you know what I'm saying? I'm an entertainer and I'm here to entertain you. All right, if you're looking for, like I said earlier, if you're looking for the, um, the the Malawi pups, we got a little coming off Abby, and we got a little coming off Anime. Little Mate Sisters, both bred in Merino, you know. So Anime puppies will be dropping first, then Abby puppies will be dropping, you know, a little later later in August. If you're interested in them, just hit me up, holler at me, true working dogs. All right, on another note, you know, this next video was one of my favorite videos of all time that I did a recording with when it comes to the dog training and stuff like that. So, you know, this makes the top of the top on my videos. So I got to put this one next. All right, let me explain something. My boy Don Ice, a lot of people don't know. When I first posted the video up, you know, I put the music behind it so I didn't get it monetized. That's why I'm reposting it because the music I'm using behind it now, you know, I'm allowed to use. All right, but anyway, when I first post this video, you know, you have the, the protection dog people and all that type of stuff that be criticizing how the man catching this, how the man catching that, who doing this, who doing... Let me explain something to you. This brother right here, Don Ice, he ain't no dog trainer. 
You know what I'm saying? Straight from my city, a good brother, OG. Don't know nothing about no training, no nothing, nothing about no catching, no none of that. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, he was willing to put that suit on multiple times and go head up, you know what I'm saying, with Marino. Straight head up with him, you know what I'm saying? And and, 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 and I appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that to the fullest. You know, we had fun out there them days. And that's how I say this is one of my favorite videos. I want y'all to check it out. You know what I'm saying? My boy, hey, all I can say is he put that work in. You know what I'm saying? He put that work in. And a lot of people won't do it. A lot of people, first thing they say, oh, I ain't let no dog bite me. I ain't let no dog bite me. But at the end of the day, Don Ice put that work in. You know what I'm saying? Check the video out. Let's keep that dog news ro rolling. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'm here to entertain you. Let's get it. My boy Don Ice today, part two. He ready to take on Marino. We about to see it go down. Don Ice don't play. I appreciate the help. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the subscriptions. Y'all keep subscribing. Y'all keep liking. Hey, Pelican Bay Kennels, we out. Don Ice. You already know what time it is, man. I've been a dog lover since I was a little boy, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never had nothing, but one thing about it, this shit right now is real. I love this shit. So by me working with somebody like this right here, man, it amazed me. Cause this man here is a man, man. And he did his thing. You know what I'm saying? I love it. So by me having dogs, man, I was about to give up all my dogs. You know what I'm saying? Cause I gave hope on them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I gave up hope on them. You know what I'm saying? But now I love my dog. You know what I'm saying? I love my dog to death because I know they protect me. You know what I'm saying? Even though they ain't got fully trained, but I know for sure them motherfucker will go eat your ass alive. And then that's another thing I, what I love about my dog. But I want them to be disciplined too at the same time where I can tell them what to do and what not to do. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? You can get go to jail by having the vicious dog, but not having no instruction with him. And for two, boy, you'll lose everything. So what I'm trying to tell you now, it ain't about having the baddest dog, the greatest dog, the goodest dog, the fighting dog, nothing. If the bitch ain't got no discipline, bro, and get hold of somebody else, dog or, or somebody else shit, your ass going to jail. I done had two dogs that got hooked to a little motherfucker chihuahua. I done been cased up with that shit. A dog killing another dog is just like a person killing another dog. And if you the owner, you the one gonna get charged with it. The dog ain't gonna get charged. And I'm being real with it, so. It's best to get discipline in your dogs for somebody to let you know what's going on with your dog. Cause I've been in that situation. So, you know what time it is. Don't heat. Don't stand for Hey, the people know what it is. Nigga, crazy. Day two. Die nice, day two. And we back out here. Like that. Hawk, baby. Real nigga. Real nigga, real nigga. Ready for this shit, man. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right but Your dark hair with those eyes so bright They look into my soul and it sparks my life Can I take you there? Like it was the first time, do you remember? Can I take you there? Back to when we felt like this was forever Can I take you there? Thank you.
for the wrong guys. They keep telling me it's alright. Yo, that dog dropped me. Thinking my ass were hurt. Now you know what I'm saying? And when he dropped me, but I really thought nigga was a real that nigga. Boy, I had to get back up, boy, look here. Boy, come here. Hold up, nigga, come here. Hold up. You did me some. But this here, I tell you something, boy, that's a big dog. I ain't got bullshit. That bitch dropped me on my ass, dog. My ass is hurting right now. And I'm not even bullshit with you. Be sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. All right, man, like I said, man, we have a successful breeding. If you're trying to get them pups, if you don't get one from me and Af of Marino and Anime, then you can get one of Marino and Affy. It's raining like a mug right now. About to head back to town. Reno, tell me we know about traveling, ain't it? We know about traveling, boy. Anyway, man, y'all have a good day. Wait for that dog news, it's your boy. Man, you tripping, T. Weezy. You ain't gonna die, man. Okay. You ain't gonna die, man. Okay. You're not gonna die. Okay. Man, you're not gonna die, boy. Okay. You tripping, T. Weezy, man. Okay. Bro, you tripping, okay. man. Okay. Sorry. Bro, what you told some flock on it? No, man, bro. What is that? What's wrong with you, bro? You're not gonna die. What's wrong with you? I'm dead. Who's dead, baby? I promise. Man, you tripping, TV. Man, you tripping, man. Alright, shout out to all my folk that love them black dogs. Today we talking about them black dogs, man. Them hard bite, game, hard drive black dogs. Starting off with uh Mr. Tar Hill, Matt. Tar Heel Matt uh, Panther, okay? Tar Heel Matt's Panther said to be one of the best, hardest biting dogs of his time. You know what I'm saying? Being in the square 12 times, one contract, one OTC, and uh, 10 rolls. But the crazy part about it, three of them rolls were under three minutes. I don't mean this one was under three minutes, this one was under three minutes, and this one was under three minutes. No, I mean, this one, this one, and this one didn't make three minutes. All three of them rolls combined total up to three minutes. Now that's impressive. Tar Heel Max.
Panther. Fuck them red dogs today. We talk about them black dogs. Chocolate City, Champion, Po Charlie. You know, Champion Po Charlie, aka Payday. Po Charlie was matched two times by Petty Boy, you know. And he collected, he did great. The longest of them two was two hours. He collected two forfeits and he was sold after that to um Chocolate City Kim, you know, and they took him out for his championship run. Winning his third with Chocolate City, poor Charlie, aka Payday, made his mark in history. He was a, 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 a product of a Heisel Carver Boudreau breeding. All right, man, them boys said they don't care nothing about no yellow dogs. They don't want to hear nothing about no yellow dog day. All right, BC's champion chance. You know what I'm saying? BC's champion chance lost his first one because he was underweight and dehydrated. His owner saw that, did a pickup, picked him up, got him back right, brought him back out. But oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, when they found his right weight at 43, <laughs> Chance went out, took out SB's Kennel Rock in an hour and five. You know, hour and five. The third was against Smith and Walton's Taylor. That only lasted an hour. Well, I said only. That lasted an hour, you know. Fourth was against Steve Spike. And that only lasted 20 minutes with Spike making a dead game scratch, you know. But it only lasted 20 minutes. More from your dog news channel. Here we have a pit bull who jumped off a boat somewhere out there in the ocean, five, six miles out in the ocean, you know, and made it back to shore. Made it back to shore. A lot of swimming, a lot of swimming, you know. Check it out, though. According to my GPS, I think she swam between five and six miles, four, five, six miles. She, she was right there. She was almost back to the boat. No grumping. Me and Bridget had finished dragging, and we were just, uh, Headed back to the dock. Well, the monster was doing a regular old thing and she's always done. She just like goes back there and barks at the birds and does the monster thing, you know. We got to where we're gonna load the net up on the back of the boat to come home and uh, she always goes back there and grabs the net and uh, starts pulling on it, you know. And when she wasn't there with a the normal procedure and I said, where's she at? It was in the middle of the bay pretty much, you know. I mean, open water, I mean, four or five miles from any type of land. This, my heart just fell. I mean, I just couldn't even speak. But I, I, I turned around and I, I got my GPS coordinates and stuff and, and I said, we're going, we're going to find her. I looked up and down the coast line all the way to Kima and uh, Bridget started uh, posting stuff. And when I uh, posted the story on Facebook, it was just like, it blew up so many people in there. You know, I knew that I'd never been away from a monster. Monster's never been away from me. Hell, she's scared of the dark. Five days went by, and you know, us we started posting more and more and more and more. And a uh, lady said, Hey, I've seen a dog like that uh, uh, at the park. I said, Man, she couldn't make that swim. There's no way that dog could swim that far. I said, I'm going to go look anyway. So I started going house to house, and there was a lady in the house. She said, You know, she said, I've seen that dog swimming across the bay. <laughs> and I just started crying. I said, man, at least I know she's alive. I just kept looking and looking and I went to an old trailer park across the street and uh, uh, I, 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 people had seen her there and I, I said, hey, I got a, a cash reward. I got money right here in my hand, $100 bill. Somebody bring me this dog. And I got ready to leave. A uh, guy, and then uh, he, he hauled around a bit and he said, you know, I said, I got your dog. Uh, he had her tied to his trailer with his dog beside him. And, I, I was crying so hard I couldn't even I couldn't even talk. I just, and she was giving me so many kisses. I, I think her swimming every day saved her life. Just her being on a boat, her being used to. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. The video is your boy PBK9 is giving you that dog news the way I always do, fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't. Thank y'all for watching. Hit that like button before you get up out of here. Keep bulldogging, y'all stay safe and have a good day.